It's day two of Colour War. We've just finished up with this morning's events. Jacob, talk us through what happened today. A lot, a lot. And I must say that having spoken to each member of the rank staff, as well as uh, each, you know, various members of each team respectively, um, people are tired already. They're sort of trying to weather this storm of exhaustion and delirium after all the effort that was invested last night. It's been fantastic so far. It was narrow up until last night in terms of the points deficit. Today, a lot has occurred. We had a flag football match that was marred by some controversy, but it was entertaining nonetheless. I came from the ping pong arena. That was very, very close. Green prevailed. Um, at this stage, it's looking like Green have the edge in terms of events claimed. I don't know that for sure, but what I can say is that it's been very, very spirited effort from both sides thus far. As you can see, we've got White team behind us having a bit of a team meeting. And in terms of White's team spirit, what do you reckon to that? White have brought it back some. I think yesterday afternoon, Green uh, was stronger and on that front. Um, this morning, though, White, I think, have sort of made up some ground and they've really consolidated um, and strengthened, their, uh, strengthened themselves in that regard. Um, I think the spirit at breakfast was really, really strong and I think they had the edge there. But look, we're still early um, and at this stage, well, I can only say that I'm tired and I'm a judge, so that's, uh, that's a testament. To uh, <laughs> testament to what the teams have done up until now, it's been a, a pretty pretty engaging and thrilling battle. As someone who's uh, had to deal with this last year, lack of sleep, you know, full on energy. What would your advice be to them to keep the team spirit up? Um, to dig deep. And basically to think, look, this is three days. Um, it's not going to stretch on forever and ever. It's not an eternal exercise. Rather. Um, this is an opportunity to really band together and to demonstrate a sort of sense of camaraderie that maybe you don't really get the opportunity to, to, to exhibit in other aspects of day-to-day -day camp life. It is a very unique opportunity. Um, it's a very, very unique experience. Um, and as I said, this sort of three days, you'll reflect on it, win or loss, and, 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 and deem it very rewarding. Re Swim relays this afternoon. Are you excited? One of my favourite days of the year. Why? Because everyone's huddled together in quite an intimate sort of situation. You know, we've got people barracking left and right. It's absolutely deafening. It's a cat wall of sound. Um, look, it's going to be very, very hard for me to resist not cheering people on. I've got to be as impartial as ever. But look, I know that the atmosphere will be second to none um, because everyone's there. You know, it's such a, it's such a sort of concentrated area um, and the kids get involved. The kids love it. All right. Well, let's head over to swim relays right now.
How did that go for the green team? Really good. We did so good. That's that's more like it. <laughs> what we got on this afternoon? On the track, me and Dobie Day. How do you think green team's gonna do? Um, I think we can do good, but I don't know how the white team's gonna do, so we can't really say anything. Good thinking. All right. Well, it's 3:30 on the dot. We've just finished up swimming. Jacob, how did that go? Well. You know, I can recall a time many years ago, 2013, 14, 15 perhaps, when these swim meets were much longer. They were protracted, drawn out, searingly hot, waterlogged affairs. Now they're fast, furious and exceptionally quick, like a short fin Mako shark out at sea. It was incredibly close out there. If it wasn't green, green, white, it was white, white, green, green, white, green, white, 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 green. Mate, I was swept up in it and uh, to say the very least, if that's an insight for what's to come, I'm very, very excited about forthcoming events. Talking of forthcoming events, we've got a bit of track and field this afternoon, so let's head over. I'm here with Alexandra. <laughs> Alexandra on the white team. How is the white team doing today? Amazing. Just amazing? Awesome. How did the relays go here? Good. Which ones did you compete in? Uh, tug of war. Mm, the water balloon thing <laughs> where we toss the water balloons. Then we did, I said tug of war, right? Yep. Then that thing where you have to hold the people's legs and the person's like walk, walk, walk. will by right. Yeah, we lost that, and then we lost the war. I got dragged <laughs> on my knee. But you're gonna win this afternoon, right? Yes. What activity is this afternoon? I do not remember, but I know we're gonna win. That's the spirit. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Go white. <laughs> Uh, I am here with Annalise and Reese from the white team. How did that go today? Good, good, fun. What, what activities did we do? Um, derby. We got to do relays, a couple more relays. The derby. Mm. And we're having a lot of fun, even though if we're losing, we're still having fun. That's the main thing, right? A lot of fun. And we're keeping our spirit high. Yeah. Good, let's hear some white team chants. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. You've forgotten them already? Yeah, um, I'm having fun. <laughs> so much fun. We are w, H, I, T, E. Ah, uh, good job. What activities have we got this afternoon? Um, I'm not really sure. I think but we have, like, shower hour and campfire okay. later tonight. I wish it was social, too, so we could all reunite. Which team's going to win? I'm not white, sure. White, 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 it white, depends, white, white. but white, 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 white. All right, good job, girls. Well done. That's fine.
We're on a quick refreshment break right now. How did this afternoon's activities go? I think they went quite well. Uh, Pioneer and Club Derby Day went well for us, and I think so did the Scout Track Meet, Scout and Chief Track Meet. How's the team spirit right now? It's good, it's good. Trying to get everyone involved, um, get ready for campfire tonight. Who's going to win Colourball? Green team. You heard it here first. As this afternoon's activities draw to a close, Jacob Dunstan, give us your feedback. Hey, another highly enjoyable afternoon, Derby Day. It's always rife with strange goings on and flower and, you know, all that remains of the day now is a balloon strewn lawn and a vast expanse of uh, egg bespattered remains. It's quite strange, but look, it was really entertaining once again. And it's great to see the Cubs and Pioneers get fully involved as they did once more. Yeah, definitely. I um, I didn't even go to the Scouts and Chiefs events this afternoon. I just stuck around here. It was, it was a lot yeah, of fun. It's peculiar, but it's always fantastic. So who knows what happened on the other hill, but what I can uh, say is that, uh, well, it was all happening here today. Well, we got uh, what, campfire songs this afternoon. Yeah, so this afternoon, we, or this evening rather, we get a real insight or our first taste of the songwriting and singing prowess of each group. So we'll see how that one goes down. Historically, one of my favourite moments... Um, in my own campaign last year was our campfire. Um, you know, I thought it was a good moment for us. Maybe it's time for the white team to shine after a fairly dominant afternoon from Green. And there you have it, day two has just drawn to a close. It's about 10 o'clock at night. White team is just leaving campfire. We've just done the uh, songs and the gift giving. Dunstan, talk us through today's events. Day two has concluded and I am sans tissue, so I've had to dab the corners of my eyes in my bandana. Such was the extent of the nostalgia on display tonight. Um, no, it's always good fun. Both teams uh, you know, approach each and every song and performance tonight with gusto. Um, and of course, the biggest events are yet to come, so uh, it should be a slumberous evening, if you will. And I know you will. Well, as you've said it right there, you know, tonight it's a bit of a somber affair. We've got some sad songs, we've got some happy songs, we've got some songs that brought people together. But the teams really do need to conserve their energy tonight because tomorrow, as you say, is the medley day. It's the biggest day at camp so far. Um, what do we have to look forward to tomorrow? Yeah, critical as an understatement. Tomorrow we have medley. Arguably the most exciting moment in Color War as far as I'm concerned. So three, four hours, sometimes five hours in length. Um, depending on how close it is, it's heart and mouth stuff, to be honest. Heart palpitations for those involved, for those uninvolved. Simply spectating on the sidelines, I'd imagine, will be teetering back and forth due to the, uh, the sheer excitement of the, whole, uh, of the whole exercise. It's going to be a long few hours. I'm super excited for it. I know you're super excited for it. I know they're super excited for it. So let's... Uh, I mean, there's only one thing to do. We've got to sign off for tonight and get ready for tomorrow.